In today's video, I will show you guys how you can optimize your windows for maximum gaming performance. I will show you some hidden settings that will improve your FPS and reduce input latency. So guys, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe without wasting any time. Let's dive into the video. In the first step, guys, go to the bottom left, right click on the start menu and select settings. Once you're in settings, go to the system section. On the left hand side, click on power and sleep and then select additional power settings on the right. Inside this section, we're going to customize a power plan. First on the left hand side, click choose what the power buttons do and then change settings that are currently unavailable. This step will allow you to edit the shutdown settings. Look for the option called turn on fast startup. It's enabled by default and marked as recommended. However, when this option is turned on, your PC doesn't fully shut down, which can cause performance issues. Uncheck this option, save the changes, and restart your PC. You should notice a significant improvement in performance. Next, let's customize your power plan. By default, the balanced power, power plan is selected, which is good for most users. But if you want better performance, select the high performance plan. This will prioritize performance, but may use more energy. If you're okay with that, go for it. If not, stick to balance. After selecting your plan, click on change plan settings and then change advanced power settings. Here you can fine tune the power plan. Under PCI Express, expand the settings and make sure it's turned off. Next, find processor power management and expand it. So you set these states to 100% to ensure your processor is always running at full performance. Once you've adjusted all these settings, click apply and then OK to save your changes. Your power plan is now optimized for better performance. After that, go back into the system settings, but this time click on storage on the left hand side. In this section, make sure that storage sense is turned on. I personally recommend this feature and I set it to run every week. It helps clean up space on your hard drive and keeps it running smoothly. Next, return to the system settings, scroll down to remote desktop, click on it and make sure it's di is disabled. It will ask for confirmation and I recommend disabling it as most users won't need to use remote desktop. Then in the system settings, click on about and under the about section, find advanced system settings. Click on that and under the advanced tab, click on settings under performance. By default, it will be set to best appearance. However, we want to change it to best performance. In the visual effects section, uncheck everything except for the following four options. Enable peak show thumbnails. Instead of icons, show window contents while dragging smooth edges of screen fonts. These four options are essential and won't affect performance as much as the others. Once you've made these changes, click apply and then OK. Now click on advanced. This is something we didn't cover before. Here you can choose how your processor resources are allocated. Make sure to set it for the best performance of programs. If it's set to background services, it won't be ideal for gaming or streaming. The active program will get most of the resources. For example, if I had Battlefield open, the system would prioritize that game's performance. So the next step is to download Proptas Process Lasso on your PC. You can easily download it with just one click from my official website. Link is in the description. After downloading, right click on the file, click open, and install the application on your PC. Start by clicking OK, then I agree, and follow the installation steps to install Process Lasso. Once installed, you'll see about the Process Lasso interface. This application is similar to Windows's Task Manager, but in advanced mode. Now let's go through the important settings. First, check the option Manage Processes for All Users, then move to the Pro Balance Enable mode. By default, it's on, but I suggest turning it off. Instead, enable performance mode and check the option to activate it on your PC. Now, launch the specific game you want to optimize, like Fortnite. Once the game is running in the background, go to Active Processes and find your game's launcher file. For example, Fortnite Client Win 64 Shipping. This is similar for other games like Valorant, CSGO, GTA 5, and Warzone. Right click on the game's launcher file, select CPU Priority, and set it to High or Real Time. I recommend high to avoid potential bugs on lower end PCs. Then right click again, go to CPU Affinity and set it to all CPUs. Check all the CPUs or threads. Next, right click on the game's launcher again and go to input and output priority. Set this to normal to high. I suggest high for better results. Next, right click the game's launcher once again, go to more options or tool and select hard throttle. Set it to no throttle under always to prevent screen tearing, FPS drops, and stuttering. After adjusting these settings, go to, go to the general section in Process Lasso and configure your startup settings. Set start a login for all users and start Code Engine as a service at boot. 
Once applied, close the startup settings and click yes to confirm changes. Finally, Process Lasso will ask you to restart your PC to apply the changes. Hit yes and after the restart, launch Process Lasso again. It will now run in the background and automatically optimize your PC for the best performance each time you, each time you start your PC. So guys, now in the next step, you need to download the Lago fast on your PC to boost your FPS and lower your ping in Fortnite and thousand plus other games. So simply download and install the Lago fast link is available in the video description. So after installing this tool here, you will find this kind of interface of the Lago fast. And in the very first step, you need to log into your account here using your email address. Therefore, you can use this tool on your PC. So now here on the left side, you will find an option for optimizing your PC or your console for getting the easy lobby and for boosting your FPS in any game. So guys, go for the home tab. There you will find all installed apps and games available on your PC. If you just go for the PC tab here, you will find all the games available on your PC. You can go for the search bar and search for your favorite game. So guys, here we want to optimize Fortnite, so you need to go for this boost button. This will also optimize your ping and also help you to boost the FPS. This is right now one of the best pieces of software in the market, which helps you to optimize your ping and optimize your PC performance at the same time with just a single click. So guys, here you can check out here, our PC is connected with the LagoFast server and the LagoFast server is connected with the Bahrain server and there is less than one MS ping between the LagoFast and Bahrain servers and this software is optimizing the path for us. So now once you have boosted your favorite game, now go for the start game option and note your game using this option for boosting the FPS and for getting the lower. Now search for mouse settings, click on additional mouse options, then select pointer options. Make sure enhanced pointer precision is turned off. While this is good for general computer use like typing or checking emails, it's not ideal for gaming because it interferes with your mouse movement making it less accurate. Turn it off and click OK. Now search here for core isolation and click on it. Guys, you can disable it for more in-game FPS because core isolation is a security feature in Windows that uses virtualization to protect your computer from malware. While it adds an extra layer of security, it can also use system resources that might impact gaming performance, especially on mid-range or older hardware. By disabling core isolation, you can free up CPU resources, potentially giving your FPS a noticeable boost. However, keep in mind that turning off core isolation reduces your PC security, so it's essential to weigh performance gains against safety risks. So finally guys, close all programs on your desktop, then press the Windows key plus R to open the run dialog box, type temp and press enter to access your temporary Windows files, press control plus A to select all files, then hit delete to remove most of them. Don't worry if some files can't be deleted, that's completely normal. Next open the run box again and type percent temp sent, then press enter. This will take you to another folder with temporary files. Repeat the process, control plus A, then delete. Once again, some files may not delete, which is expected. This process will help free up space and improve your system's performance. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Feel free to ask any question in comment box. Peace out.